In an earlier video I showed you how you can customize your WordPress blog by editing the themes CSS style sheet. There are other ways that you can customize your WordPress blog that aren't quite so involved and I'm going to tell you about them in this video. The theme that I'm using for this particular demonstration is this one here, it's called 2010 and it's a fairly simple type of theme. What we're going to do here, if you come down here to appearance, these two settings here, background and header, are the ones that we are going to alter in this particular demonstration. Let's click on background. Now I'll just scroll down to the bottom here. There are a couple of things that you can do to change the background on your WordPress theme. You can either upload an image, which you do by clicking on the browse button here and uploading it from your computer's hard drive. Um, a word of caution, you need to make sure that if you do upload an image, it's one that will tile, otherwise it can look a bit odd. The other way is by altering the color and you can enter the hexadecimal code here in this box or you can click on this link here to select a color. So let's just do that now. Let's make this a sort of a an orange color. There we go. That's okay. And you can see it's entered in the hexadecimal code here and click on save changes. Now the background color will only alter the color outside the actual blog itself. So on the blog where you put your postings, that's going to stay the same. But the part of the screen that is between the blog and the edge of the monitor will be this color. Let me just show you what I mean here. If I come back to the blog page and then click on refresh. I'm using quite a small screen resolution here to get it all in, but you can see here that color has changed. If I just move over no, it's not going to do that. Anyway, you can see here that's the color and on a larger size screen resolution then this color will be seen to go all the way round. Okay, the other thing that you can do is to change the header. Or in particular you can change the header image. Now this is the one that we're using here, that's just the basic one. You can either have one of the default images from the list and there will be several that come with your theme uh, depending on which type of theme you use some have more than others or you can upload an image from your computer's hard drive now if you decide to upload an image it must be exactly 940 by 198 pixels otherwise it will crop it if it's larger or it could be a bit distorted if it's smaller. Now if you're not sure exactly how to do that what I would suggest you do is you come here to the actual blog page itself and if you're going to be using Photoshop or something similar that enables you to um, create a canvas from what's on the clipboard what I would do would be to simply right click and copy the image and when you go to open up Photoshop or whichever type of image software you're going to be using when it asks you to set the canvas size you can simply set it as clipboard and you will have the exact dimensions and screen resolution that you'll need uh, to upload this into your WordPress theme. Okay, let's say I want to change the header picture and I'm going to use one of the uh, pictures that come with the theme. Let's say I want to have this one, this different type of woodland view. I just simply click on the radio button there and then come down to save changes. You could also remove the image if you wanted to. Uh, personally, I wouldn't recommend that. Anyway, click on Save Changes. And if I go back to the blog and refresh, there we go. There's the new image and you can see the new background color. And so that's how you can alter your WordPress theme 
without having to do a lot of coding.